it's tough. One of the things that we try to instill in my sessions to players is to have a growth mindset. And I know you saw that quote from Giannis right in the media the other day. They ask him about the Bucks being out of it now. Is the is the season a failure? And he said, no, it's definitely not a failure. We're getting better every day. That's kind of the mindset that you have to have to get better. But unfortunately, all these different forces now in modern society kind of work against it. Mm-hmm. You know, I had kids in private sessions tell me in November, December, during the basketball season, the beginning of the basketball season, you know, I'm not getting the minutes that I promised or that I was promised, or I'm not getting the minutes that I deserve. I think I'm out of here next season. I mean, I I don't have the answer how other than just continuing to tell them that you're only going to get better if you fail some too. Failure is such an important but underestimated part of the process. One, we go to great lengths to protect ourselves from failing. And two, we're talking about the parents. The parents want to sort of metaphorically wrap us in bubble tape where we don't get any scrapes, right? But if you think about it in life, we learn more from our failures than our successes. And we grow more from those failures than the successes. It's interesting. I'm working with a soccer team here in Memphis. I'm a big soccer guy. I love it. Arsenal's the greatest. Um, They were undefeated for 10 games. No one had scored a goal against them in 10 games. Mm. And I kept telling them, I want you guys to have some adversity. And they kept looking at me. I want someone to really give us a hard time. I don't want to say beat you guys, but, you know. And then they had someone that beat them. And it's been the best thing for them as far as bouncing back. If, you, if you're not willing to sort of get out of your comfort zone and risk failure, you're not going to build grit and resilience that makes you that much better, you know. So do you agree with what Giannis was saying about it not being a failure? Without a doubt. Hmm. There's a difference between it not being a failure and it not being the way that they wanted it to go. But it's definitely not a failure. I mean, the Bucs had a winning season, right? Mm-hmm. And the Bucs made the playoffs and then got knocked out, right? Were they first round or I don't, I don't remember what round. Um, yeah. So a lot of teams don't make the playoffs. And I'm not talking about being happy with that and letting that breed complacency at all. I'm not, you know, because someone's going to hear what I'm saying and think, oh, that just makes them mediocre. Don't be happy with it, but don't see it as a failure either. I tell every athlete after every game, win or lose, when you go back to your home, unpack that game mentally. Compartmentalize everything that you did and then break it down in your mind or even write it down on a piece of paper. What I did well and what I could have done better. Mm -hmm. And do that every time and be really critical with yourself. And that's going to help facilitate a growth mindset, doing that. Instead of seeing everything as life or death or win or lose, it's the kids that do that. They're going to be so up and down because, you know, when you play this game, it's so situational. There are a lot of variables you can't control. Giannis couldn't control every variable during the season and in that first round of the playoffs. He can't control what other players do. He can't control – a lot what the other team does, what the refs do. So we always tell players, control what you can control and try to let go of the rest. It's all you can do. If you gave it your best shot and you left it on the court, I don't see it as a failure at all. I've been wrestling with that. Um, So there's like the black and white side, which is, you know, results-based business that basketball is. And of course, it's championship or you lost. And being the caliber of the team that Giannis was on, it's a failure. But because uh, I actually did a video on this, so the definition of failure is lack of success, which is obvious. 
But then the other definition was um, not achieving a, a goal or hitting something like that. We your goal is to do this and you don't reach this goal. And so there is a level of success for the Kings. They get out the first round, but they didn't have championship aspirations. So they their season was a success versus the Bucks who had the exact same outcome but their goal was a little bit higher because they wanted to reach championships. So, of course, success and failure is different because their output or the outcome that they were looking to have were two different things, but they got the same thing. And so, tar- or picking back on what Giannis was talking about is all the seasons that led up to this was not failure. So I agree with that part because you need to learn these lessons of, okay, we suck this season, let's draft this guy. Okay, boom. Let's do this and learn this lesson. Okay, we got a better coach. Now the coach knew how to handle the situation. The players know how to handle the situation. So it took this time frame, how many years it took him to get a championship? Like, I think eight years. So those eight years are failures because he didn't have the championship, but he learned things throughout that process. And that led to the final ultimate success of winning championships. So I don't know, man. Like I, I, I haven't come to a conclusive uh thought about Giannis' statement but that's kind of where my mind is right now about it because of course you turn your failures into lessons and all that stuff I agree with that but I think the the very concepts of success and failure are so subjective everybody can have their own definition um yeah no matter what it says in Webster's or the dictionary you know what I mean and he's looking at it long term strategically his development as a player and their overall journey, I think, instead of one season. So it, it depends whether you're looking at it longitudinally, latitudinally. Um, but if he says it a fa- it's a failure, there's a sort of – if there's an emotional connotation to that, then he's not going to grow. It ends at that point. I failed. But if you have a growth mindset, it's like we came up short this season – However, it's not a total failure. You either you either win or you learn, right? It's not necessarily always win or lose. Um, I don't know. It's an interesting it's an interesting discussion, you know. Yeah. There are no mistakes if there's lessons learned and it makes you better and there's growth from it. Definitely. Yeah, I think the whole like I said, the perspective of what failure and success is and how do you define success and failure is the key thing. So that's an ongoing philosophical debate that people can have and never really come to a conclusion to. So so it's not that you're mentally weak. It's just that you don't really understand where your mental toughness is. You don't understand where exactly you're mentally strong at. It's even crazy. You probably don't even really understand what mental toughness actually is. And I don't blame you because usually we just have coaches yelling at us and fussing at us saying, hey, hey, hey. You mentally tough, you're being weak right now, you're being soft right now. But it's not the full scope, and it doesn't give you any true understanding of what mental toughness is and how you can get better at it. And so I'm here to help you guys out. Because just imagine I gave you a pill right here in my hand. Just imagine. And within that pill, it gave you just a, a epiphany where you just brain just blew up and you're just like, oh my goodness, you got so much better understanding. Now your game just grows by 10x and you just a whole different person now. Bro, I got got the pill for you right here. Never fear. B's Mental Toughness Playbook ebook is here. You feel me? So in this whole little playbook I got for you, this small little ebook, it breaks down the mental game of understanding what mental toughness is in different areas of what your mental toughness is and how you can actually grow it and get better and enhance it. So, you know, look in the link, look in the description, and just go ahead and purchase it and do yourself a favor by just understanding what mental toughness actually is and also understanding how you can actually grow it and what you need to get better at it. So just the mental toughness playbook, small little ebook. I'm just trying to tell you, hey, can't say I didn't warn you.